Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius. And it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Sagittarius, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. If it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested in that, click the join button below. Um, personal readings are open. You can find a link to schedule in the description box, as well as the links to my Instagram and TikTok accounts. So what I'm already getting, guys, is that there's someone that you could be either, this is you or someone that's in your energy. Someone is not ready to be in a committed relationship. Sorry, guys, the camera's shaking. I see it. Someone's not ready to be in a committed relationship yet um, because they are not financially stable. They're going through some type of financial issues and um, yeah, they're, they're not ready for a commitment. That's what I'm getting from this. Or there's something going on with someone's finances right now. Tell me more. That's a big factor. So we have unlocking. Depression. So someone's not in a good place. Someone's in this lack energy. Habitual liar. Oh, goodness. And main lady. Ooh. Self-delusion. What is this? So has someone been lying to themselves, like, that they're over you? Someone's been trying to pretend like they're okay without you, but it's not the truth. Someone's very focused on you and there's really nobody else that they want. And they and maybe they've tried to maybe run from this or, you know, ignore this connection, but they're not being successful. Is that the jealousy card? No, that's the mixed feelings card. Okay, so somebody's indecisive about something. Hmm. Someone is like trying to act like they don't, that they're not haunted by you. That they don't still feel you. Hmm. What's being unlocked here? It says locked doors are opening, removing blockages. Love is coming. Mute. So someone's feelings are developing for you. If you were... <coughs> Right as I was about to say that, I started freaking choking on nothing. So it's like someone doesn't has been not knowing how to express their feelings to you or not wanting to tell you how they really feel about you. Someone has a hard time expressing their emotions or something. A blocked throat chakra, a blocked heart chakra, something, possibly both. But um, yeah, someone's feelings... You were dealing with somebody that it, there was an unequal, there was a, not an equal give and take. There was a lack of compromise. This person maybe even told you that they didn't feel the same way about you as you felt about them, or that's how it seemed. But something is changing. Whatever was blocking that is null, is being, the blockage is being removed. Um, What is the, who was being lied about here? Someone's on the verge of, tell me more. I feel like somebody's been really trying to hold back from you. What's this about? Yeah, somebody's been trying to keep their love for you a secret. They could have even they could have told you they didn't have feelings for you. But it's like getting to the point where they can't hold back from you any longer. What about divorce? Somebody could have told you that they were divorced, but they're not. What is that about? What is the sacrifice? Okay. Someone feels like they're going to maybe have to give up something to be, to offer, give you more of an offer. Like, what is this about? Someone knows that they're going to have to sacrifice, sacrifice something or they're going to have to get a divorce or something to be able to offer you more. 
Okay, tell me more about what, what this person wasn't being honest about. They're just, it's something about them. It's its how they feel about you. They, they promised you a lot and they never followed through. And I feel like this person is trying to hide how much they are feel drawn to you, how passionate they are about you, how attracted they are to you. Why is depression here? Hot and cold. You guys have kind of like grown pessimistic or somebody has grown pessimistic about the situation. Tell me more. See, money is tight and toxic. Mm. So you guys were dealing with somebody that was very inconsistent and they gave you mixed signals. They were probably very in and out of your life because you're dealing with somebody that is like going through something. And I told you, I knew money is tight was going to pop out. They're going through some financial issues. That's why, and they're just not in a good place mentally. That, But it's like they do see a future with you. They they see like you guys being together in the future, but they're just not in a good place right now. It's like almost like they're going through karma or they're going through like a dark night of the soul or something. Tell me about main lady. Flesh. What about this person? Feels, this person was childish, bad intentions. Okay, so jealousy yeah what are they jealous about someone's up in their head creating scenarios someone's up in their head creating scenarios um but it's like somebody feels like you're worth the trouble or you're worth fighting for or something like that this person plays games though they feel like they made a dumb choice Somebody could have been taking really th things really slow with you because they have children, which I mean, that's a smart thing to do. And also they, they need, it takes them a long time to trust someone. They, they didn't know if they could trust you. They weren't sure if your intentions were good. They, they didn't know if you were hiding things. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So how does, um, Sag feel about this? How does Sag feel about the situation? So you guys are focused on healing. Maybe you guys do feel, you guys are focused on like a better future for yourself and are knowing that what? Yeah, it's like you guys are kind of, you're trying to heal. You're opening up to the possibility of new love coming in. Um, It's like you're trying to heal from the past or what you went through with this person. And it's like, you guys have this knowing that even though you guys still desire this person, and some of you guys are even tempted to go toward them. You know that this person still hasn't changed. Or why are they the forbidden fruit? Why are they knowing that they shouldn't go toward that person? It's risky. Why? Why? Because this person, you know there's a good possibility that this person plays games. That's what it is. You know that there's a good possibility that this person still hasn't changed. They're still running from themselves. That they're still going to be running from this connection. That they that if you reach out to them, they may ignore you because they probably have done that before. Like you feel like it's a risk because you're dealing with a runner. All right. Um, yeah, it's like you don't know if this person has. You feel like this person hasn't changed. Yeah, that's what it is. You feel like they're refusing to change, and you don't know if they've cleaned up their life enough for you guys to have a new cycle. Yeah, that's what it is. How does some of our... Uh, well, I can't even talk. I told you. Something's up with this person's communication and them expressing themselves. Um, How does this person feel about the situation and about Sagittarius? See, unrequited. See, what's that about? So they feel like the feelings aren't mutual anymore because you're focused... Or they think you have somebody else. Hold up. How are they, what does this mean? How are they feeling about Sag? What are their feelings? They're very much still stuck on you. They're giving you a lot of attention in some way. Even if you're not speaking to them, they're watching you. They're still just thinking about you a lot. They feel like it's hard to stay away from you as well. I feel like they know there's something special about you. I feel like this person feels like you, what are they feeling though that they feel is not requited? What is? What are they feeling? What are they feeling? What are, yeah, but what are they feeling? See, maybe, what are they feeling about Sag? See, there's love there. No one compares to you. First true love. And, and like, 
they feel abandoned or left out in the cold because you blocked them or you set some type of boundary or something with them. But what they don't know is that you guys are kind of in the same energy. You, you're feeling like it's not safe to come towards this person. They're feeling like it's not safe to come toward you. You guys are both like, you guys both have love for each other, but your egos, you're both afraid of being ignored. You're both afraid of being rejected. Yeah, that's what this is. That you're both afraid that the other person isn't going to feel the same when you reach out to them. Like there's a both there's a fear of rejection on both sides. So you're holding back, they're you're holding back and they're holding back too. You guys maybe both were maybe trying to convince yourselves that you didn't want this anymore, that it was time to move on, that you didn't love each other, but that's not true. It's still there. You guys are still very much both stuck on each other, but you guys are both afraid to approach each other. Let's, I want to, since there's that mutual, who, somebody else had a reading like this. Leo? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Or have Leo placements. I feel like maybe you guys have both been focusing on these, on yourselves too. Like maybe you guys both think that the other person, because what did I just see? Third party. You think that they have a third party. It's like they think that there's a possibility that you've let them go and you've moved on to somebody new and you feel the same way about them. Like you guys are both feeling that way about each other. Your egos are both holding it because you guys, it's, yeah, you guys both can't handle the rejection or can't handle finding out that this person has moved on to somebody new. What's the mutual energy between these two people? Mutual energies, four cards. Sacrifices. So yeah, that's not the second. So you guys are both like kind of still open to this. Or you guys both know that, okay, you guys are both in this energy where you're willing to like kind of work something out. Come to some type of compromise. Make sacrifices to make this work. Give up something on both ends. Wow, no games. So yeah, there is no nothing hidden. The real deal, surrendering, mature approach. Okay equality mutual respect equal give and take needs are both important wow i was like if there's a, a, a fourth love card what's on the back what's on the back okay so we do have a passion card on the back of the deck but we have openness emotionally vulnerable acknowledging emotions taking risks for love you guys are in this wow there's a lot of love here secret if you haven't met their friends nothing on social media hardly ever out in public so you guys are have both like They've never met your family and friends. They've never met yours. You guys like aren't friends on social media or you're not in a relationship. I don't think you're in a relationship at all. So of course you wouldn't be Facebook official or whatever. Um, you guys don't. Yeah. Why is that though? Control. Yeah. Wanting control. Expects you to cater to them. Silent treatment. Yeah. So you guys are both not speaking right now. Why is it secret affair here? Why is secret affair here? Why a secret affair? Okay, we have a lot of shit. Fear. There's fear here. Love stirring up fear. Hard to control emotions. Proceeding with caution. So yeah, you guys are both being very cautious. And then we have your worst. Brings out the worst in you. Act out of character. Facing your shadow self. There's something here about you and this person both need to heal. But look at this energy. Look at these. You guys are both still in love with each other. What is, tell me what the biggest problem is other than like the shadow. What's the biggest problem when there's this much love between these two and another love card. So maybe somebody has a hard time being consistent. Words matching actions, dependable, predictable. So that's what it is. There is a lot of love. There's a lot of love between you and this person, but maybe somebody has a hard time being consistent. But it's not coming out as inconsistency. Maybe somebody is getting into an energy where they can show up for you more or they're more willing to. Being there when a need words. Somebody's not, somebody promised, which I already mentioned that. Someone promises a lot, but they never follow through. We have jealousy. So, so you guys both don't want each other to move on to other people. You guys still can't see your lives without each other. Why is there inconsistency? What's causing the inconsistency? What's causing that somebody maybe has some other responsibilities? What's cause, causing the inconsistent energy? 
Hmm. A strong initial attraction, instant feelings, instant desire to know more. Great effort to make it work. Sacrificing too much. Hard to be on the same page. Why though? Why is that? Codependence. Can't live without feeling. Feels worthless unless needed. Need each other for something. Okay. Ferret fights. Always criticizing partners, subconsciously creating wedges. It's never good enough. Someone feels like their efforts aren't enough. Talk down to you. Don't respect your boundaries. They do inconsiderate. Somebody's just selfish. Yeah, somebody's inconsiderate. Somebody feels like they're always criticized. What in the world? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. What's about to happen here, Spirit? What's about to happen? This is interesting. You and this person are both holding back from one another. We have the world, Libra energy, the eight of wands in reverse. Okay, so something may, the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, and the ten of cups. What's the world though? The two of pentacles, somebody needs to make a decision. Get, yeah, somebody needs to be decisive. Maybe to let, something needs to end because it's causing delays. What needs to end? I see someone make, getting a new perspective though too. What is What needs to come to an end? See, there's something like a marriage or something here. Leaving home, lack of roots, arguments, conflict with others in life, lack of support, instability, feeling unwelcome. So it could be that this person's not financially stable. It could be that they need to leave a living situation. They need to leave a marriage, a relationship, a commitment. What is this new perspective, this clarity? The Nine of Pentacles, what about that? Uh-oh, here we go with that energy. The Moon in Reverse. Someone's repressed emotions are coming up to the surface. Some, if they were, And what about that mean about the Nine of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles. Why is someone, and what's that mean for this person? The Knight of Wands, they can't move on. So what are they doing? What are they going to do? Six wands. They're gonna reach out, but they may get ignored. <laughs> they might. They might get ignored, or they may have missed their chances. What about the four of cups? Okay. I see, like maybe an ink, a comp. Why is the four of cups here then? They're they're gonna they're either gonna reach out because they're not happy. See, what is the seven of swords? The queen of pentacles. What is their intent? What's their intention? See, that's what it is, guys. Is like, I feel like they're going to reach out to you because they want to end the beef and the conflict between the two of you. But I feel like you're not going to, you don't have faith in this person. You've lost hope in them. Or there is something about their situation is just not sitting right with you. There's a lack of change here. What's the seven of swords? What are they hiding? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? The Three of Wands in reverse. Something's going on with their money situation. They could have lost a job. Mm -hmm. Something about that. They're not going to work. The, the effort's not going to be there. Why? Because they're not ready. They, they haven't learned some type of lesson. Yeah, they haven't changed. How is um, Sag knowing this? What is it? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Something about they have a low effort. There's just a lack of growth. Why though? How are they knowing that? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. They're coming in. Two of Cups. Okay. The Three of Swords in reverse. The Hierophant. 
okay? <laughs> what are they seeing? See, it's like you're seeing something. Let's see. Before I move, because I am going to take this over to the extended reading. We're going to take a deeper look at the whole thing. How is Sash feeling about this communication? How is Sash feeling about this communication? See the moon in reverse. You see something for what it is. You have clarity. And what do they have clarity about? What about the six of wands? It's like you're going to say no. This person may be trying to use you. I'm telling you. I keep I didn't I didn't want I wanted to get more clarity about that before I said anything. But I see you guys like not you feel like this person, whatever, however they're coming in. You feel like this person is going to be a burden. Like you're going to have to take on a lot of baggage from them or something. Or that they're like a burden that they 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 hold you back or something like that. But with the six of wands, you guys are about to be, be maybe achieving something, getting some type of public rec recognition, success, um, re award or something like that. And then and then what's going to happen when they achieve this? What about the five of wands in reverse? The queen of pentacles. They're going to want to like squash the beef or something. What action are they taking after this? See, it's just the wheel of fortune in reverse keeps coming out. Reverse. Change. They're coming. They're coming in unchanged. Coming in with some type of offer, wanting to heal this, but something's not moving forward because you feel like this person is emotionally manipulative. See, how? What is this person's intentions? See, manipulation. What are they trying to manipulate you for? <laughs> they're creating an illusion because they're blocked. They're, they're not being very successful in growing or achieving something in their own life. And so why do they need Sag? Why do they need Sag? What do they need Sag for? Mm hmm. Said they need you for something. I don't know. Whew. It's like they something is they do have love for you, but what's blocking this? Why is there the, the three of wands in reverse? Something is yeah, but what's creating the setback? Obstacles, disharmony, misalignment. It's like this ego. What about their what about it? Ooh, three of cups. What about the three of cups? Lack of movement, giving up. What's this have to do with Sag? See, Sag, the nine of pentacles. What's the name for Sag? Delays, four of wands. What's going on with this third party? They have a, there's another situation they've got going on. What's going on in that situation? And until they get that sorted out, something to do with children. Yeah, wait, that already came out. All right, now it's making now it's making um sense. There's something to do with children that's taking up a lot of their time and energy, causing them a lot of instability. It's blocking this new beginning between the two of you. So why are they coming toward you? Why are they coming toward you? Why are they coming toward you? It's something about them maybe wanting to maintain control over you. What are their intentions when they got all that other shit going on? They do have emotion for you. They're curious to know. What about the tower? The ace of wands. What's this mean for them? Hmm. What's the tower? A rejection. Or being ignored. The hero font in reverse. You're going to do something that they're not expecting. Yeah, you're going to do something that they're not expecting. How are they going to feel about that? How are they going to feel about that? Hmm. 
So I see you doing something that they're not expecting you to do. Or maybe this person feels like they need to do something that they've never done before. How is Sag reacting to this? How is Sag reacting to this person? Tell me more. How is Sag reacting? You're just not, you may, I, you may speak to them. But um, it's like you're going to see that this person's still stuck in turmoil or they're always in trouble. They always got shit going on. So I feel like you're going to maybe do what's best for you. And I feel like you're not, there's certain things you're not tolerating. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're, yeah. The Tower, the Fool in reverse. You're holding back from this person. And what's that mean for this person? They're going to feel like it's unfair. They're going to feel like it's unfair. You're holding back from them because they're not taking, they're, there's still a lack of accountability from them. They haven't changed. So how, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're going to be pissed. <laughs> they're not going to, they're going to be mad, guys. You know, they're going to be mad. Yeah, they're going to be mad because they were thinking that um so they're going to they're going to try to some type of manipulation tactic deception and do what clean the swords but what you but they don't know is that you see them clearly yeah and now this isn't going to work i see them trying to fight with you yeah they're going to try to fight with you frustrated hot temper yep arrogance mm-hmm -mm. But I still also don't see them walking away from this. Oh, I don't know, guys. This person's annoying. They're going through it. All right, we're going to take this over to the extended reading to take a deeper look at this. What's going on with this person, their feelings, intentions, um, what you guys can expect to happen in the future, timing, guidance. All that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Personal readings are open. There is a link below to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.